So before we start the toy group, we have a lap of honour from the best of breed winning Papillon as they have a close connection with our toy group judge. So put your hands together for Glenn and Irene Robbs, Papillon champion Glenn Irene Kiss Me Kate Sun Shoe doing a lap of honour, withdrawing from the group. Thank you for that. Judged today in the breed by Penny Robbins. The Papillon Best of Breed winner. That's number 8959. It now gives me great pleasure to ask Una Gore to escort our judge for tonight, the toy group, the last of the groups, Carolyn Rowe, into the ring. Thank you. Carolyn's delighted to judge the toy group here at Windsor. This is her sixth group. She awards 18 sets of challenge certificates in the toy group. Has bred and owned champions in Papillons, Lazarapsos and Maremmas. She's not known for her Sunshoe Papillons, having written many books on the breed. Welcome to Windsor, Carolyn Rowe. Thank you. So the first of the toy group best of breed winners is the Atom Pincher. Followed by the Australian Silky Terrier, the Bichon Frise, Frise, the Bolognese, the Cavalier King Charles Spaniel, the Long Coat Chihuahua, the Smooth Coat Chihuahua, the Chinese Crested Dog, the English Toy Terrier, the Griffon Bruxellois, the Havanese, no, sorry, yes it is, sorry, yes. The Italian Greyhound, the Japanese Chip, the King Charles Spaniel, the Lurcher, the Maltese, the Miniature Pimpson, the Pekingese, the Pomeranian, the Pub, and the Yorkshire Terrier. There are two things that every one of these breeds that we see in front of us has in common. First, and fairly obviously, their similar stature in size. But secondly, and not so obvious, their huge stature in personality. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, do not be fooled by their size. These toy breeds have very, very big hearts indeed. So the first of the toy group for our judge this evening is the Affen Pinch. Judged today by Annette Oliver. Annette selected this male 7783. It's a native of Germany, a captivating monkey like expression. Indeed, the German word for monkey is Affen. This is where the Affen Pinch comes from. Also known as a monkey terrier, monkey terrier at the end of the 19th century, sometimes called the Black Devil. The best of breed winning Affen Pincher. Annette was also the judge of the Australian Silky Terriers, and this is another male, 7816. Originating in Australia and once known as the Sydney Silky, its ancestors are actually the Yorkshire Terrier that we'll see later, the Australian Terrier, which we saw earlier in the week, which itself is derived from the British Rough Coated Terrier breeds. Keenly alert and, attractive, uh, uh, and active personalities, these are very, very versatile dogs with huge spirits. The best of breed winning Australian Silky Terrier.
Now we see the Bichon Frise and Liz Stannard pulled a very, very big entry for us, the second only to Crufts this year. Liz selected this male, 7907, as her best of breed winner. It's thought that the origin of the Bichon is the Canary Island, Tenerife and the Mediterranean. Believed that sailors as far back as the 14th century took these dogs home to France from Tenerife and hence their popularity grew. The Bichon Frise. Bolognese today were judged by Cindy McCarthy. Cindy selected this male, number 7912. Bologna in Italy around the 11th or 12th century is supposedly the origin of this ancient breed. The Medici family are connected. Also other famous historical figures, Madame de Pompadour, Catherine the Great, Maria Theresa, Empress of Austria, to name but a few. The Bolognese. Good entry of Cavaliers today for Anne Gill. This was a male, 8023, that she sent through us to she sent through to us this evening. This breed didn't actually secure kennel club status until 1944. Now ranked numerically in the top 20 of all breeds. Coming in at last count at number 12. The best of breed winning a Cavalier King Charles. The long coat Chihuahua. Judged today by Shelda Hornby, another good entry. This is a male, 8192. Breed's origin is debatable and probably South American, taking his name from the Mexican state of Chihuahua. Smallest breed of dog in the world, he first came to prominence in 1895. The Long Coat Chihuahua. <laughs> Tim Ball was the judge of the Smooth Coat Chihuahuas. Tim had a good entry too. This was a male sent through, 8312. Just as much a big hearted dog as his long haired cousin, the smooth coat Chihuahua stole the hearts of America when the breed moved across the borders and state lines into Arizona and New Mexico. The best of breed winning smooth coat Chihuahua.
Jean Lanning stepped in to judge the Chinese Crested Dogs today. She selected this bitch, 8372. First recognised by the Kennel Club in 1981, these unique little dogs come in two varieties. The hairless and the powder puff. Here we see the hairless. Gypsy Rose Lee is one of the famous owners of this delightful breed. The best of breed winning Chinese Crested. Liz Stannard was the judge of the English Toy Terriers. She selected this bitch, 8449. Prior to the 1960s, the ETT, as it's become known, was called the Miniature Black and Tan Terrier. Its history is closely linked to the larger Manchester Terrier that we saw in the Terrier group on our first day. The best of breed winning English Toy Terrier. Griffon Bruxellois were judged by Tony Orcock. This is a male, 8497. Named after its city of origin, Brussels in Belgium, this charming breed can be traced way back. It's in the 19th century, however, that they gained popularity with coachmen who used the dogs in stables to deal with vermin. The Griffon Bruxellois. <laughs> Di Mottram was the judge of the Havanese. This is a bitch number 8547. <laughs> so from Belgium and Europe, we move continents across the Atlantic Ocean to the island of Cuba. See the Havanese, the national dog of Cuba. Developed from the now extinct Blanquito de la Habana, translates to the little white dog of Havana. The Havanese. <laughs> Italian Greyhounds were judged by Nicky Hunter. Nikki selected this female, 8597. <coughs> this graceful, racy little dog claims a heritage dating way back to the days of Pompeii, and some say actually Egypt too, from where he found his way to Britain in the 17th century. A vast soul in a little casket describes this dog well. The best of breed winning Italian Greyhound.
Samantha Dillon was the judge of the Japanese chins and she selected this male, 8631. History tells us that despite his name, he originated in neighbouring China, making his way to Japan as a gift from one empress to another. Queen Alexandra was a fancier and did much to popularise this breed. The best of breed winning Japanese chin. <laughs> Tom Mather was the judge of the King Charles Spaniels and Tom selected this male. Eight seven four zero as his breed representative. Like his cousin, the Cavalier that we saw earlier, the King Charles is closely linked to the royal courts as far back as Mary Tudor. Queen Victoria and our present Queen Elizabeth are known to have owned King Charles Spaniel. The best of breed winning King Charles Spaniel. The second of Tom Mother's breeds is the Lurchin. It is a bitch number 8775. So known as a little lion dog due to the manner in which they're trimmed. It's probably a European breed, although the origins are somewhat hazy. His homeland is listed as France. Although he's been seen and established in Spain and Germany from the early 16th century. First recognized here in 1971. Best of breed winning Lurchin. Tom was also the judge of the Maltese, and this is another male, 8816. It's generally understood that the breed origins lay in the island of Malta. However, the Maltese name has been said to have been derived from the Adri Adriatic island of Viget, and even a Sicilian town called Militia. In fact, it's a Latin name indeed, the Canis Militaeus. Claudius, Mary Queen of Scots, as well as Queen Victoria, I said to have owned this lovely breed. Eight eight one six. The best of breed winning more team. Annette Oliver was also the judge of the miniature pinches today. She selected the bitch, double eight, three, four.
incredibly high-spirited little chap, curious and always busy, highly intelligent, superb companions. The miniature pincher. Winifred Mee was the judge of Pekingese. This is a male, 9022. One of the oldest breeds of dogs, as the name suggests, the Peak originates from China, the ancient city of Peking. Being described as a member of Chinese society as far back as the 7th century. Best of breed winning Pekingese. Tim Ball was also the judge of the Pomeranians today, and this is a male 9045. It was Queen Victoria, after her visit to Florence in 1888, who became interested in the breed and adopted one as her constant companion. Public awareness grew and popularity increased. Best of breed winning Pomeranian. National judge today for pugs, Milamans, for the super entry. She selected this male, number 9083. Best of breed winning pub. Jill Peak was the judge of the Yorkshire Terriers, and Jill had a good entry, and she selected this, this female number 9268. First entry for this breed in the Kennel Pub Stud Book was 1862, under the title of the Broken Haired Scotch or Yorkshire Terrier, with the current name of Yorkshire Terrier not being fully adopted until 1870 officially.
the best of breed winning Yorkshire Terrier. So Carolyn, <coughs> Carolyn, having one last look at those best of breed winners together, she's going to make a short list very soon. This is a male dominated group with 14 males and 7 females. <laughs> The larger of the two groups today, 1,545 toys, that's 17% of our total entry. So, the first of Carolyn's shortlist is the Bichon Frise. The Smooth Coat Chihuahua. The Chinese Crested. The Japanese Chin. The Maltese, the Miniature Pincher, the Pekingese and the Pomeranian. So we have eight shortlisted dogs. Thank you very much to those other best of breed winners. Travel safely on your way home. Congratulations for winning through the breed. Those other dogs shortlisted, if you could move round. Thank you. The choice of Liz Stannard in the breed, this is the Bichon Frise. <laughs> Tim Ball's selection in Smooth Coat Chihuahuas. The choice of Jean Lanning in Chinese Crested. <laughs> Samantha Dimmant's choice in the Japanese Chins. And the Maltese, sent through by Tom Mather. <laughs> and that's Oliver's choice in the miniature pinchers. The Pekingese sent to us by Winifred Mee. And a second dog sent through by Tim Ball, the Pomeranian.
So that completes the last look for Carolyn after the movement. If we could have the boards in place, please. Very soon we'll know who the seventh finalist for Best in Show will be. The winner of the toy group, Windsor 2015, it's the Maltese. <laughs> Runner up, the Chinese Crested. The Smooth Coach Chihuahua takes third in the group. The Pomeranian in fourth place. Well done to those other four shortlisted dogs. Huge congratulations to our seventh finalist, the Maltese.